Well, I'm out in the backyard garden on a nice Friday night and really overall the weekend is not bad. There's some good parts in there tomorrow for the most part. And then as we get on into Sunday, it's just tomorrow evening overnight into Sunday morning where some rain and thunderstorm stuff could come down. Let's see what's up over Perry. Yeah, I've been doing some bull riding. Uh, they have not out in the grass out there. I've been looking and nobody was doing that 62 is the current number. I think somewhere in the 50s will get us started in the morning. And then there is a look at the current numbers. You're seeing some uh, upper 60s down south and upper 50s to low 60s up top. This is not rain once again, but if you do look at the bottom of Telfair County heading into Hazelhurst, one little shower there. And the rest of it is down into southeast Georgia heading over I-95. So there's the big picture. Let's get on into the storm outlook for tomorrow. Again, for the majority of the day tomorrow, a very nice day. And the clouds start to build in as we get in past the middle of the day and early afternoon. And then these storms will come up. Now, south Georgia has the level two. That's the bigger, you know, severe threat. We're in the low end level one, basically from Macon south and eastward. Just means these storms as they ride up toward the north uh, later tomorrow will be kind of weakening some. And here's a look at that. Let's start with tomorrow. Notice how the clouds start to build as we get into early afternoon. So a good chunk of the day to do all kinds of stuff outside. But right around here, if this model's right, and this course could change, it has been doing that on me all week. Uh, this is around five o'clock or so coming into our southern counties and notice all the red down south. That's where the majority of the severe threat would probably be as it lifts toward the north. Maybe the Macon area around six. Again, this could change. Uh, and then you can see things kind of weakening down some as we go into seven, eight o'clock as it lifts toward the north. Not as much red and orange on there, more green and yellow. And then maybe kind of uh, a break there as we get into midnight for a few hours. And then right here as we get into early Sunday morning, you're talking about the middle of the night. Uh, and before sunrise here, this is around 5 a.m., maybe some rain, maybe some thunderstorms, gusty winds there. There's around 6, 7, and that would do it for the bulk of it. The only thing that would be left, this is around 9, 10 o'clock Sunday morning, is maybe one or two sprinkles. Other than that, we're off to the races enjoying a nice Sunday, but the big story after that is going to be the wind. It will be howling on the backside of the system, so we'll have a northwesterly breeze. It could go 30, 35 plus. Uh, miles per hour. 50s in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to pull it back up somewhere low to mid 80s uh, before the rain starts to come in from the south. So again, when you look at the seven day, it looks like ah, it's raining both days. Well, there's a lot of Saturday before that rain comes in. And then if we get the rain early Sunday morning and out of here, then we'll have a nice Sunday. But hold on to the hat. All right.